Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Mr. Incredible from The Incredibles. Let's get started in the center of our page with the eyes. So I'm going to move over to the left side and draw on the upper eyelid. I'm going to start on the outside. I'm going to curve up and then back down on the inside. We're going to leave a gap in the center and do the same thing on the right. So let's line up the inside of the eye, curve up, and then back down on the right. On the inside, we're going to curl up a little frown line, coming up and in on both sides. Now let's tuck the eyes in underneath the eyelid. So it's like a half circle. Starting from the outside, we're going to step in, curve around, and then pull that up in towards the bottom of the frown line. We'll do the same thing on the right side. On the left side of each eye, we're going to draw a small circle for a highlight. Now we're going to move over towards the right and line this up. So this will go underneath the eyelid. And then in the center of the eye, we're going to draw a small circle for the pupil. So let's start underneath the highlight. We're going to come down, round it out, and then in behind the highlight. We'll do the same thing on the right. Let's go ahead and fill the pupils in black. Now in between the eyes, we're going to locate the nose. So just underneath the frown line on the left, we're going to step down, we curve down, and then in. Move over towards the right side, curve in the opposite direction. Now we're going to step up to create an overlap. We're going to curve out and then down on both sides. Now let's connect the bottom corners with a curve, coming down and then back up. Just below the nose, we're going to locate the mouth. So directly underneath the left eye, we're going to curve down and then back up on the right side. Let's add a little smile line. From the corner of the mouth, we're going to step out and down, curve up and in, aiming towards the top of the nostril. Now we're going to move all the way to the top and draw in the hairline. Starting above the left eye, we're going to curve down and then back up on the right. From these ends, we're going to curve around the eye and down towards the jaw. So let's start on the left side, we're going to curve out, around the eye, and then down. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now let's connect these two points with the curve for the chin. Coming down in the middle, and then back up on the right side. Let's go in and add in the mask. So directly above the left eye, we're going to curve down in the middle, and then back up on the right. From the left side, we're going to curve around the eye towards the side of the head, coming down. From that same point on the left side, we're going to curve around the eye and come up towards the nose. So we'll come down, leaving a little bit of space, and we're just going to pull that up towards the bridge of the nose. We're going to do the same thing on the right side. So let's line this up, curve around the eye, and then pull that up towards the side of the head. We're going to connect these two points with a curve, just going across the nose. Directly above the mask in the center, we're going to leave a little gap on the left side, we're going to curve up and out towards the left, then up and out towards the right. Let's add the hair along the top. So from this point, we're going to curve up towards the top of the hair and curve it down towards the left. Now from here, I want to curve up and then down towards this top point on the left. Now let's add some hair texture. From that point, I'm going to curve up and then down towards the hairline. We're going to go back to the tip, do that again, going out a little bit further and then down. We're going to add one more along the top. So from the top of the curve, we'll go out and then down. Now we're going to add the hair along the side. So just behind the hair, we're going to curve out and then we're going to taper this down just beside this corner of the mask. We're going to do the same thing on the right. Curving out and then tapering that back in. Let's add in the ears. From that same point, I'm going to curve up and out, round out the ear, and then pull that in towards the side of the head. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to add some detail to the inside. From the top, we'll step down, curve in and down behind the head. Now that we got the head, let's work our way down the body. I'm going to give him a V-shaped torso. So just on the left side here, we're going to step down, we're going to curve in 
and down towards the waist. We're gonna do the same thing on the right. Coming down and in. Now let's connect these two points with a curve. Coming down in the middle and then back up for the lower part of the belt. Now we're gonna step up and just draw that same curve going across. In the center of the body, we're gonna add a large logo. So it's basically an oval, starting from the top, work our way around the side, bottom, and then back up towards the top. Now let's add in the symbol. We're gonna start at the very top here. We're gonna add a circle at the very center. Now just below it, we're gonna add two lines. One on the left, stepping down, now the line on the right is going to be a little bit taller, so we step up, angle down. Now we're going to connect these two points with a diagonal line. Let's add a little bit of detail on the sides. So from the side of the circle, we go out and then taper down towards the bottom of the eye on the left. Now we're going to go to the very top and curve and taper out towards the bottom right. Just above the logo, underneath the chin, we're going to add the collar. Starting on the left, we're going to curve down and then back up on the right. Let's continue working down with the legs. So in the center, we're gonna step down, start with a point, draw a straight line coming down towards the heels. Now we're gonna round out the bottom of the feet. From the heel, we're gonna curve down and then back up. We're gonna give them tiny little feet. And then from the toe, we're gonna curve over the foot and then in. Now let's go back up to the hips and draw the thigh. From the left hip, we're gonna curve out. Now we're gonna pull that in about halfway down the leg. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we're gonna bump out the lower part of the leg. From the knee, we're gonna curve out and pull that in towards the top of the foot. Let's add in the shorts. From the center, we're gonna curve out towards the hip on the left and right side. And then we're gonna move down and draw on the edge of the boot cuff. From the knee, we'll step down, curve down and up on both sides. Now let's move back up and draw on the arms. I'm gonna have the arms on the hip. So we start on the left side, we're gonna step down, curve down and out towards the left. We're gonna line this up on the right and do the same thing. Now we're gonna overlap the forearm. So from this point, we're gonna step in, curve down and in, leaving a little bit of space for the thumb. From here, we're going to draw a small half circle going around. And at the end of the thumb, we'll draw a bracket. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Stepping in, we're going to curve down and in towards the hip. Draw a small half circle for the thumb. And then we'll draw a bracket. Now from the inside of the thumb, I'm just going to curve this in towards the hip on both sides. Now let's layer in the fingers. From the bracket, we're going to step down, curve down and out. We'll step down the leg, draw another curve. Now we step down again, we're gonna go all the way around towards the elbow, curving down and out. Now we're gonna pull that all the way up towards the elbow, sort of the same height as we have in the inside of the arm. Let's do the same thing on the right. Stepping down, curve the first finger, second, and on the third finger, we're gonna go all the way around and up to line up with the left side. Then from here, we're gonna curve in behind the head. Now we wanna be on the inside of the jaw. Curve up and pull that in. The last thing we're gonna do is add the edge of the glove. So about halfway down the forearm, we're gonna curve out and then down. Doing the same thing on the right side. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Mr. Incredible from The Incredibles. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.